good afternoon and good morning wherever you are in the art world. The Art Talks are delighted today to welcome Paola Inar and Paolo Repetto. Uh, Paola Inar is the founder and the uh, director of Fondazione Cosso. And today, uh, and Paolo, of course, is one of our uh, wonderful guests that we've been following everywhere around the world. And, thank and today, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And, and today we are going to talk uh, about a wonderful, wonderful art exhibition um, that Paola will tell us more about. Paola, I would love uh, you to describe for, to the Art Talks what is the uh, Cosso Foundation vision and why it was created. What makes this place such a magical encounter? Um, thank you and good afternoon. Uh, the Castle Foundation uh, um, objective is to uh, promote culture and art, uh, humanistic and scientific uh, research. Uh, our objective is to draw attention and interest to culture through projects created above uh, um, all for young people and families in order to give beauty a uh, voice because beautiful things lead good things. Uh, in 2008, uh, my mother and I um, created uh, the Costa Foundation and saved Miradoro Castle and uh, its uh, historical park from uh, neglect. Um, the restoration uh, since uh, 2007 has given back uh, to the territory a precious ancient site uh, with a historical park uh, that is uh, six hectare with uh, um, numerous old trees from all over um, the world. Uh, this is how uh, we created a, a cultural center of research and uh, um, experiment in the field of art and, and, and nature. Um, it promotes the protection of beauty uh, in order to create a new sense uh, um, of responsibility and to protect the um, common good together with uh, the community. Um, we have um, five uh, activity areas uh, uh, that we call our five souls. Uh, art, uh, music, uh, nature, obviously, uh, education and social. Or our characteristics is to create uh, uh, multidisciplinary projects and projects uh, uh, for different types of uh, audience. Uh, our love of culture, art and nature is uh, demonstrated by our original ideas, uh, which are dedicated to the public, uh, schools and families um, in order to build together um, a more an inclusive society, which uh, is more aware of differences, fragility and beauty. bellissimo wonderful wonderful it's a it's a you know it's it's a dream when i saw the pictures unfortunately we were not able to to be there and of course we had you also on our last issue of the magazine paula it is it is a magical place yes yes it's a magical place <laughs> we can't we can't wait and thanks to paolo actually to to bring us all together here thank you Thank you. I I know the place very well, and uh, for sure is a magic place because the park uh, is very huge uh, with uh, some trees, uh, very rare, right? like the Tasso tree. This is a very old one, can oh. resist uh, 300 years and uh, more, 50, 500 meters. Uh, years and uh, the castle is very beautiful, very, very fascinating. It's, it is, I think, you know, it's a beautiful to bring, uh, as uh, Paola was mentioning, uh, the past, the present and the future. And this is uh, something wonderful. But I, I, I saw that you had so, you hosted so many extraordinary exhibitions with old masters, artists such as Caravaggio, 
Tiziano, Lotto, Raphael, uh, Rubens, Tiepolo, but also with modern and contemporary artists whose recognition is slow to arrive, as for Luigi Spazzapano or Fausto Melotti. What inspired the Fondazione uh, Cosso to host Cristo and Jean-Claude projects? Um, the exhibition uh, organized by, by, by the Costa Foundation uh, are the result of uh, uh, unpublished research and study project that uh, uh, come from the comparison of vision of curators and partner partnership uh, uh, that the foundation uses to take care of every aspect of an exhibition um, from the setup. Uh, uh, exponential text, uh, lighting project, uh, musical installation, uh, audio guides. Um, the exhibitions are um, shaped around uh, the spaces in Miradoro Castle, which uh, uh, has an historical and architectural setting um, of great value. Uh, then uh, um, the works are uh, positioned in harmony and in, in dialogue with uh, these spaces uh, in order to uh, enhance uh, their, their beauty. Um, Christo and Jean-Claude um, had the ability to innovate uh, to uh, the point uh, um, of uh, transforming the concept of works of art. Um, they worked closely with the local territory uh, where they created uh, the works of art. Um, and furthermore, they were completely free, completely free, without sponsorship uh, or uh, other types of financial help. Uh, this uh, created the possibility to give uh, to the public uh, their purest uh, vision. For the Casso, Casso Foundation, uh, it is uh, the same. And uh, for us uh, also, the relationship uh, uh, between art uh, and nature is also um, very, very interesting and uh, it is part uh, of uh, our work. Fantastico, fantastico. And so, Paola, tell me, uh, when, when, unfortunately, the exhibition is, uh, is almost over, it's over. It's closed. Yes, but we, we went, we, we threw, you know, with your, your um, uh, Paolo um, article, we, we, as if we were there. And of course, you said it's, it's a pity because, you know, it's always a different feeling to be walking uh, and, and seeing all this amazing, amazing uh, art exhibition, because now we're going to Paolo who curated part of the, the exhibition and will tell us more. And I, I would love to know also if you could share with us some of the next projects uh, that you could, uh, that you are starting to. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, now we are uh, still uh, uh, fine tuning our calendar um, for the new exhibition. We must uh, wait um, uh, until February. I can uh, see that, uh, but uh, I can uh, already say that uh, autumn um, will bring a lot of project uh, to the park and uh, also an important uh, anniversary. Uh, in October, the Costa Foundation will have been active for uh, 50 years. A goal that uh, fills us uh, with joy and motivates us to continue with uh, always a new project. Okay, I, I can feel that you want to keep us in suspense. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so we can't wait to, to see the new project. And, um, no, and that at the moment, I, I can say because um, we are uh, uh, still waiting to finalize the details and then I prefer Speak. Of course, of course, but we will be to, to, you know, the best way to be tuned is to be on your website and to, and, and of course, to come and visit you, uh, you know, and, and, and wonder, okay. especially visit the website and also the place. Yes, of course, and to wander through the summer must be beautiful also. Yes, with a lot of activities in the summer in the park and not, not also in the park, not only in the park. Fantastico. Paola, I know you have a very busy schedule and we thank you so much for being here. So whenever you need, I know you have, you gave us 
couple of minutes to the art talk and we are really really honored that you could be with us uh, today so whenever you need to i now i will have paolo that you okay. can tell us more about the wonderful project grazie paola thank you all um <coughs> grazie 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 paola thank you so much so paolo uh, the real voyage of discovery is not about seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. Marcel Proust. Yes. You are one of the curators of this fascinating exhibition. Could you explain what this art voyage meant for you? Yes, thank you. Um, I'm very pleased to collaborate with uh, the Fondazione Cosso. It's a very illuminated one. And the ones uh, uh, I remember four or five years ago, we collaborate for the first time with a very beautiful exhibition about uh, Melotti. And um, now we realize this exhibition of um, about um, Cristo and uh, Jean Claude, and um, I'm very pleased because um, uh, Cristo is a very very important conceptual artist, and uh, you know it's very important to consider that. Um, um, Chris, Christo, the, the, the pronunciation is not Christo correct, but, but it's Christo, because um, he, from, he was from Bulgaria, and uh, it's a norm to call uh, a man uh, Christo, like in Italy, a woman, Maria, or a man, Salvatore. So the name is not at all uh, have something like uh, provocation or, or blasphemy. But um, the very important thing is that it, uh, mm, Christo is uh, not only a conceptual artist. I mean, uh, the, the mainly part in conceptual, but the realization is, uh, um, as you like, um, uh, Christo, uh, environmental art, land, uh, land artist, to cover and uh, rediscover a place or, or uh, a monument. And then uh, mm, it's very important to consider that um, the, the works, uh, the really works of uh, Christo remain only for a fortnight or a week or uh, for some problem like uh, like uh, Cartain Valley only for 24 hours because there was uh, a wind, uh, uh, a gale so strong that uh, must uh, stop the work. So the real work remain only for uh, two weeks or uh, a, a, a limited, a very limited time, but remain the, the collage but to remain the maquettes that uh, finance the, the every, every project. So in Cristo, we have this conjugation, very, very important and very rare. Um, I mean, he's a conceptual art, artist, very abstract, but to remain this collage remains this video, remain this uh, maquette, that are very, very pleased, very domestic one. The, um, the size is a small one or medium one uh, or uh, a large one. So in this conjugation between an art very abstract, very conceptual, but very many these object uh, so simple, so domestic. We have uh, the the key to understand this great great success of uh, Cristo, and uh, Cristo in this uh, exhibition we have uh, demonstrated that is uh, so important because there is. Uh, 
a, a new, a, a totally new conception of uh, of art. Not many more, not anymore to paint, not anymore a sculpture, but uh, to cover a monument, to cover a part of a landscape, mm -hmm. and uh, to find something new. In my essay in the, in the catalog of, of the exhibition, I, I, tit I, title, I title it the revelation, mm -hmm. revelazione. It's a, a, a word, the, the etymolo etymology is a, la a Latin one, revelatio, uh, to put a veil and to remove this veil. Even the, re the religious word is a revelazione, revelatio. It's something that appear and disappear mm -hmm. and yes. again appear. So the phrase that you cite before in, in the origin of um, by Proust is mm -hmm. very important, is very... And uh, the exhibition um, I speak in present want, uh, uh, the, the exhibition have uh, three sections. The main mm -hmm. section is, uh, of course, about uh, Christo and uh, Jean-Claude and the main uh, project. Yes. There are um, um, uh, the first uh, work, uh, Kubin Meter Package, uh, in 90, realized in 1967-68 for Documenta in, uh, in Kassel. And uh, we have the Mastaba to be realized in uh, Abu Dhabi. In, uh, we have um, collage and video about Valle Curtain, 1972. We have, of course, the floating piers. Do you, do you remember a very, a very success in? Um, in uh, Lago di Zeo in 2014-2016. Yes. Around in the island in Miami over the river, the, the umbrellas and, uh, and uh, so on. This is the main uh, part of the exhibition. Then yes. uh, we, we realize uh, two uh, uh, wings um the first part were, was dedicated about the nouveau realism mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when uh, Cristo arrived in Paris from uh, his uh, Bulgaria yes. in 1958 uh, without a money without uh, and uh, met uh, in Paris in 58 uh, Jean Claude and um, met Pierre Restani, the very important critic, that theorized the nouveau realism. And uh, with such uh, artists uh, such as uh, Yves Klein, the Blue mm -hmm. Klein, you remember, the Rotella, uh, mm -hmm. Spurry, and um, we have in the exhibition a photo very important of Man Ray. Because, because the first artist that cover an object with uh, um, um, a tissue, a fabric, was Man Ray in 1920. Yes. Do you remember the, the, the L'Enigme des Isidore du Casse? Yes. And uh, was the, the first inspiration for the idea, the central idea of uh, uh, Cristo. Yes, so, and Paolo, Paolo, before you go further, I, this is what I would like to ask you, because all these vast installations and various projects of Cristo and Jean-Claude were created in order to, with the intention of hiding, uh, completely or partially, as you mentioned. And in order to really make people see, make them understand again. But how was this exhibition different from the previous ones? This is the art exhibition, yes. you mean? Yes. Yes. Mm, 
uh, it's important to consider that uh, our exhibition, it's been one of the exhibition about uh, Cristo. Yes, yes. Uh, be because uh, um, not other very important exhibition was realized about the works of uh, Cristo and uh, Jean Claude. So we are we are very proud for this um, one of the first uh, exhibition because uh, the the artist uh, is not simple. It's not. Uh, um, a, it's a very rare, very, very refined, but uh, it's very surprising that uh, people are very, are very um, pleased about uh, the, 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 the Cristo. For example, do you remember that the floating piers in the Lago mm -hmm. di Zia was yes. uh, an enormous, enormous success. One million two, uh, two, one million two people visited the Lago di Zia to walk uh, uh, over the, under the water really like like a christ uh, jesus christ <laughs> so it was a, was an experience very and so is so interesting so so unusual you know so and and tell me because you were saying and then i interrupted you uh, there were two parts so you said one nouveau realisme and land art but also which i think this is something that you you created an unprecedented sound installation. Yes, but, yes, you're yes, right, you're right. The Dernier Pensée project that belongs to the exhibition path. Can you tell us how challenging was to curate this and how the audience engaged? Yes, because the exhibition, um, uh, we are a trick curator. Mm -hmm. Uh, Francesco Poli, uh, me, and uh, Roberto Galimberti that work for the Fondazione Cosso. And uh, Roberto Galimberti is um, a musician, is a mm -hmm. violinist. And um, for this occasion, as for the other exhibition, uh, realize uh, um, background sound and uh, with uh, music uh, of uh, John Cage or uh, other um, composer. And um, this is very interesting because we have the conjunction between uh, visual art and, uh, and, and, and the music. So it's a characteristic of uh, the, um, the exhibition of the Fondazione Cosso, the Castello of Miradolo, uh, this um, combination mm -hmm. uh, from um, music and uh, visual uh, visual art. This is very, very beautiful. Beautiful. And tell me, uh, Paolo, one, one uh, did you think that the audience understood the way you hope? They would? Yes, yes. Because um, mm, the exhibition, as I said, the main uh, part uh, is, um, of course, about Christo. As I said, uh, the first win is um, about uh, Nouveau Realism, Spurri, Rotella. Um, and uh, other artists, very Yves Clam, and the uh, other artists. And the other wind, the other part is the church part, is about the land art or mm -hmm. earth art. And so uh, in the exhibition, uh, there are um, some um, very important works by Richard Long. Mm -hmm. Amish Fulton and uh, uh, the photograph by um, my my friend Gianfranco Gorgoni about mm -hmm. the spiral jetty of uh, Robert Schmidtson or the works uh, of Walter de Maria 
and some work um, of Danny Oppenheim. Because, you know, <laughs> land art is a very huge uh, uh, movement uh, of, uh, of art. And um, with two, two declinations. The, the first one is an American one. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, this case, in this case, the Hurt Art is a very huge one with um, monumental work, very, very huge. You remember the spiral jetty, the Molo Spirale, the spiral jetty of yes. uh, Robert Schmitz. Yes. And we yes. have in the exhibition some marvelous photo by Gianfranco Gorgoni. And um, because, you know, this um, monumental work in, are in, in situ, in the site, and uh, we have uh, the possibility to appreciate uh, it uh, by photo. Or to go in, in Utah, in, in mm -hmm. Utah, I was there with Gorgoni really? 10 years ago. And it was very, yeah. very fascinating, very, very beautiful. We took an helicopter and we and Gorgoni took um, many photos. And with the helicopter, we uh, we was uh, under we were under the under the spiral jetty and was a, a, a marvelous uh, experience. Very, very that beautiful. Is, yeah. that, that's the beauty, you know, to you know to leave art you know you you, you do every every day because of course exactly your, your exactly. family your father which i met last last time in lugano and all your brothers it's incredible your family it's it's uh, embedded into the art world <laughs> since you were a baby thank you thank you Bellissimo. so much thank Bellissimo. you but uh, paolo one last thing uh, i i would love to hear an anecdote that you could share about this exhibition something uh, that happened and uh, really you could share with us. Mm. Uh, I did some um, visita guidate, uh, uh -huh. I don't know in English. Uh, guided tours. Guided uh, tours. Uh, sorry, sorry, a uh, uh, guiding tour and uh, surprised me the, the people are very moved were very moved uh, about the exhibition with the video, the photo, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and the collage. And uh, this idea of uh, surprising people. Um, we can um, have an emotion about an, an old master or a mm -hmm. traditional art. But yes. in this uh, exhibition, I saw many people uh, with uh, great emotion about this um, very refined, very conceptual artist, so surprised me. It's very, it's very important. The mm -hmm. renovation, something very original, very new, but uh, at the same time, you know, something um, very natural, an emotion very simple. So it's a surprise and very, very moving. No, oh, it's it's beautiful, you know, and I think, of course, you 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 created and you curated, let's say, the exhibition. So for for you, it, it must have been beautiful. And the, unfortunately, the art talk were there with you through your beautiful essay that we have on our um, magazine. So the last, it was beautiful, beautiful. So we could actually be there through your words. And um, hopefully we will uh, visit uh, you soon and, and also the Fondazione Cosso. And uh, Paolo, can you tell me one uh, la next project and then we will leave you to your wonderful. Yes, thank you. Yes, books thank you. that we In, can see. <laughs> uh, uh, next uh, fall, next yes. autumn uh, in a small town called Aquiterme in the middle of the hills, uh, South Piemonte. Aquiterme, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll organize a, an exhibition about um, um, Arturo Martini and Fausto Melotti. Mm -hmm. And as you know, are, are, are the, um, the most important sculpt, Italian sculpture um, to, of the 20th century in Italy, Arturo Martini and uh, Fausto Melotti. And so, 
uh, in the in this town, Aquiterme, we organized a small exhibition in the archaeological museum with this uh, dialogue between uh, Martini and uh, and uh, Melotti. I mean, start from um, next October until December or January. Fantastic. Again, with Melotti, we've been following you through your different several affairs and it was beautiful beautiful to to, Thank to, you. to discover i actually discovered melody through you and it's it's really beautiful you know it's it's you have such a passion when when you talk about any any of your exhibitions